So this model kit review is of a massive model and this is of the A10 Warthog and there are the dimensions so you can see it's a very large model it's a 132nd scale model and it is by Trumpeter. The box is absolutely enormous um, I'm not going to be able to move this thing around here it's just so absolutely enormous and uh, it says it has resin and metal and etched parts uh, I'm not sure if we can see all of these pieces here probably not um, so let's just have a look inside but it's an absolutely enormous box so inside we have lots and lots of parts and we're going to open all of them up and have a look inside got many many sprues as well decals instructions okay so first of all this is nice actually because it comes separately and it's made out of metal so let's open that up here are our tires and they are flexible vinyl we have a whole bunch of little pieces here including screws and little pinions and so on here we have our ejection seat which is actually very nicely molded we have some string, I'm not sure what that's for yet. And then we have our landing gear. It's a very heavy, big plane, and uh, so you need uh, very sturdy landing gear. And this is very sturdy looking landing gear. And there is your uh, little ladder for the pilot. That's all of that. Uh, this is the box, which I don't believe has anything else in it. Little other, that's the only only thing on top there. Over here we have uh, some resin parts. And let's have a look. These look like these are our engines. And uh, resin enables you to have a significant amount of more detail. And look at that. That truly is incredible. That is great. Look at the detail there. So this one feels like seems like it's a little off in its shape. You can see how it wobbles around when I twist it. But uh, yeah, it really is uh, nicely molded. A great amount of detail. And this must be our uh, canopy and glass. So let's have a look at these ones. So here's our extra glass for lights and so on. And this must be for, yeah, this is going to be our canopy. And look at that. Very nicely molded. You can even see the uh, rivet lines over there. Nice and clear. That is absolutely great. Uh, these next sprues here are actually clear, which is a little odd because it's not glass. Um, maybe it's be part of our um, engines, so that's a little odd. I guess you'll be able to see inside here is our uh, fan for the engine. We've got two of the same thing there, the duplicates, one for each side, and uh, very nicely molded. I guess that way you can see inside the engine. I'm going to have to find a way to be able to cut them open and see, uh, show the engine that way. The 
this looks like this is part of the tail of the plane. And look at the quality here. Unfortunately, these are all raised rivet lines. These, however, are recessed. It's a little disappointing, a little odd. Uh, but the molding quality otherwise is really good. As you can see, it's going to be a very large plane. And then uh, part of our uh, wheel well, I guess. So this next set of screws here, here we have our cockpit and um, that's nicely molded, good level of detail. Here we've got our pilot figure with all your body parts. Uh, there's our control column. Got some uh, mold lines here, which is a little interesting. Here's our uh, instrument panel there. This looks like probably part of our uh, flaps. And uh, th these are our three mirrors. Not sure what this part is for, but it's got some nice detail there. And over here we have got, uh, looks like these are the pods for the landing gear. Again, some nice, look at that detail, great. Here's our Gatling gun, we'll have to drill those holes out. And then part for our uh, top of our canopy. We've got some wheel well covers here with some nice detail, unfortunately. We've got our uh, little punched out holes there for the ejection pins from the mold machine. So that's a little annoying. And then uh, that uh, goes on the side of the fuselage. And then some uh, little pots for the side of the uh, fuselage as well here. All mostly very well molded. here shows off uh, a lot of detail. These are all the uh, bullets, I guess you could call them, rounds. This is the drum for our gun. And uh, parts for the, this must be also for the gun. And that's about all that I recognize there. These screws here all look like our weapons, and they are very nicely molded. Look at that great quality detail there. Now these are all the pylons. These are our um, back part of the weapons there. These go on the pylons to help hold them. Look at these. That's great detail. And this is our electronic jamming pod here. And it looks like we have two of the same thing. Okay, these next uh, screws here. Now this shows off here our uh, wow, incredible detail here. This is the uh, right side of the fore part of the fuselage. We do have some mold lines here that need to be removed. Um, but look at the detail here. So this is on the uh, this is the other side here. This is where the ladder comes down. Got some great detail there, and some detail here for our nose wheel. Uh, but really not much in for the cockpit. That's probably all going to be built up separately. And then this looks like this is part of our uh, tail. Again, great level of detail here. And looks like our rudders are going to come off separately there. These screws here are our wings. And look at that. I mean, this is going to be an absolutely massive plane. So, uh, here's the top part of the wing. Tremendous detail here. And 
here's the underside of the wings. Just great. This is wonderful. Amazing how it's been molded. Let's have a look at this one here. So we've got a big sprue and a little sprue here. Not sure why they couldn't have molded that in there. Maybe it uh, fell off. Uh, these look like uh, wing formers, maybe for the inside, for where our uh, ailerons or flaps come down. Uh, here are the engine cowls, or at least the front part of them. And uh, look at that detail. That really is just phenomenal. And then there's the uh, side. So it looks like we can have some parts of the engine cow on display. There's the air intakes there and then our nose wheel and main wheels. Looks like with some brakes they're molded in uh, one big piece. Okay, so these next sprues here. This is the uh, elevator. And uh, well, stabilizer and elevator. These parts go up and down. Really, just tremendous detail here. And uh, this is the underside of the fuselage. The nose wheel comes out here, and uh, that's where the gun's going to come out. And then these are probably the panels for the uh, engine. And then probably some, maybe uh, I don't know what those are going to be for. Maybe uh, flaps. Everything in this model is just very large and it's actually very well molded. It's a great level of detail. Let's have a look at these uh, screws here. So there's our central fuel tank. It is absolutely enormous. Here's the other side of it. Now we've got some bombs here. Some smaller bombs, more bombs, and just great detail there. Over here, these are our, um, must be our ailerons. Both sides there. And uh, nose. Here are the engine cowls. I guess these are the ones you can have up. And then that must be part of our um, cockpit there. Not sure what these pieces are for. Okay, these last sprues. Uh, we have some additional weapons, it looks like. Absolutely massive bombs here. And some smaller little bombs. But you can see uh, the molding quality is just phenomenal. It looks like we actually have two of the same there. They're exact replicas. Okay, so here we have our uh, instructions. And uh, so first of all, there's some details here about the plane. And some pictures of the actual uh, plane, engine, and weapons. So it looks like we're going to start off here with our uh, cockpits, build the cockpit tub, and there's our ejection seat, looks like a fair amount of detail there. We start to build our uh, cannon, this is the Gatling gun, and uh, lots and lots of rounds there. And assembly all goes in there. And then mounted is mounted inside of the uh, fuselage. Let me put our uh, cockpit there, as well as um, some additional details. Looks like for our wheel well, we start to build our nose wheel well here, and mount the nose wheel and landing gear. Lots of detail there. Looks like uh, we're going to screw it in, so that means that our 
wheels are going to run. Let me put all the extra little details here for the uh, front, including our ladder and so on. And then we start to put our rear fuselage together. Now we're putting our flaps and wings together. And it looks like they're going to be movable because they'll slide in and out over that tab. We put our wings together here. Okay, and then we do the uh, left side all the same way. Put the left wing together. I put our stabilizer and uh, the uh, tail and rudder. Now we've got a little trim tabs. They help to uh, trim up the airplane while you're um, flying so you don't have to keep pulling up on the elevator. And mount the uh, tail on the fuselage. Next we're going to put, uh, this is a little leading edge here. Left wing is mounted, right wing is mounted there. And then we've got our uh, ailerons. And it looks like they're going to be movable. Here's the uh, main gear, left and right. As you can see, it's a lot of detail there. And again, they're screwed in so the wheels will be able to turn. We start to put our little um, fins and tubes on. Here is our windscreen and canopy. And then this is the, uh, I guess the little pods there. We have them open or closed. And then uh, it's called the pave penny pod there. Now we're going to start to put our engines together. So this, they've got these clear ones. I don't really understand that because I'd rather have it just open. Uh, and then we put the engines inside of the pods and uh, then we've got our air intakes and so on and then the engine covers and that's all then mounted uh, onto the fuselage now we look at the pylons here for our weapons so it all depends on uh, what weapons you're going to be putting on there so you've got belly or fuselage pylons, you've got wing pylons. There's the other side. I'll give you these little chocks, that's what the string is for actually. And there's our pilot detail. And here are the weapons. So you've got some missiles. And then uh, that's our electron jamming pod, that's a napalm. Got uh, ground based uh, weapons. Some smaller bombs, three cluster, cluster bombs there, and some. Uh, let's see more, more bombs there. Air to ground missiles, fuel tank, another air to ground missile there. And uh, okay, so these are different options here. So you can do group one, you can do group two, group three, and group four. Whichever one looks the meanest. So here's the painting and decal guide for our weapons. Those are on the pylons. Those are the colors needed. Painting and decal guide for the actual weapons. As you can see, there's a lot of detail here. And here's the painting and decal guide for the actual plane. decals for the different, uh, I guess that's for the one group there, 23rd, 75th, and here's the 706. So two different versions, and then the parts listing, uh, it looks like you're using all of the parts, I don't see any of them excluded. Uh, so there are a lot of parts there. Let's have a look at our decals here. So we actually have several decal sheets here, and uh, we have a lot of decals. 
It's always the one one of the signs of a good model is a lot of details, as you can see there. Uh, exceptional level of detail there. Same here. Very nicely printed, although I must admit that is very disappointing. <laughs> That's not a lot of detail there for that decal. And then the last one here. Really incredible level of detail on this plane.